Number 13. Why? Let's see. It's above, so it's greater than. The line is solid. Now, on a lot of these, all these pictures that we're doing, they it's going to be a solid line because when I saved them as PDFs, it didn't show the dashing. So no big deal. Everything we're just going to pretend is a solid line. Um, because you're probably wondering, why does every one of them a solid line? Well, it's why. So what is our slope here? Well, this guy looks a little bit. It doesn't cross there perfectly. It crosses here perfectly and there. Ooh, that's an interesting slope. It seems to go up to over five. Up to over five. Don't forget your X. Now, please note that, <clears throat> excuse me, it is going to the right. So it is positive two-fifths. And then it crosses at positive one. Number 14, we shaded below it below the line. So why is less than or equal to because it's a solid line. We just need the slope. Well, here's a point. And then the next perfect points there, perfect crossing there. So it looks up three over one. So three X crosses the Y intercept at negative one. So minus one. We shade it above. So Y is greater than or equal to because the line appears to be solid. Well, here's a point. There's a point, there's a point. Oh, it's going up one over one. So that's a negative one slope, or just we put a negative. We don't put the one there. It's just the opposite of X. And then it crosses at negative three. And this line, it might be hard to see, but that's actually underneath. So it's Y is less than or equal to because of the solid line. Solid line meaning this guy crosses here and crosses again here. Looks like a slope of five and it's up to the right. So it's a positive slope. So positive five X crossing at negative two.